So Ledge stock is falling 10 plus percent after the company missed revenue expectations in the second quarter. Revenue came in at 991 compared to 992. So they only missed it by a million. However, it was it was more about their outlook. Before we get into the analysis, before we discuss why price is breaching the weekly buyer's level at 220, let's get into the article. This article is coming from Reuters. The U.S. solar market has been dented by lower electricity prices, higher borrowing costs, and a new metering reform in California, the largest solar market in the country. However, solar expects third quarter revenue to average between 880 and 920 compared to analysts' estimates of $1.05 billion. All right, so this is part of the outlook and in why the stock is selling off. Electricity prices pretty much everywhere in the U.S. are down, making the attractiveness of solar systems far less, which is crushing demand. Growth in the European market has also been more moderate than expected, the CEO said. The company said its solar revenue from Europe rose 19% subsequently, with a notable rise in countries such as the UK and Germany. Kind of makes sense, right? Um, Europe gets most of their electricity demands from supply from Russia uh, via natural gas and, you know, in the sense of the Ukrainian war, um, you know, their natural gas supplies from Russia is really uncertain. And they're trying to get away from relying on Russia so much for their electricity demands. U.S. solar revenue, however, decreased 23% compared to the last quarter. All right. So let's talk about this weekly bias level we're first going to go to the monthly chart and you can see that this was a nice area to go long you know you had all these wicks representing buyers right um, within this range bound so playing the range buy at the bottom of the range sell at the top of the range all right so that's that's number one Let's go to the weekly chart. Again, sideways with a downside bias. This is a nice area to short up at 340. Now let's talk about this weekly bias level at 220. So what you can see, you had a rallying price, one basin candle, and then a rally out, right? On very good volume. Right, so this was a great opportunity um, to go long. Let's go to the daily chart. But it was earnings that caused the sellers to outbid or duke it out or defeat the buyers at this, this level here. Let's look at that zone a little bit better. So it it bottomed, you had a rally in price, price kind of dipped down and then rally out. So on the daily chart, you can see the price structure wasn't ideal. As price was twer tweaking down, it was really just eating up all the remaining unfilled buy orders, right? Ideally, what you want to see is a rally in price, basing candles, and then a rally out, not a rally in price basing. And then you have some candles that are red. Again, it's eating into the unfilled buy orders. Further supporting the sellers in breaching and closing below the weekly level at 220. So that's kind of the analysis of why this zone didn't work. So where's price heading next? All right, big picture. Let's take this off the chart. All right, there's something here. You have a rally. You have basing candles in this area of 160 to 180. Again, it's below all of this buying pressure. This might be a decent area. Uh, let's put an, a line in so we can know where we're at on the smaller time frame. Let's go to the weekly chart.
All right. Not ideal. However, what you can see is you had a rally in price, basing candles and rally out price, nipped into the zone and then took off. So there are more unfilled buy orders in this area. Let's just go to the daily chart. Okay, this was on earnings. All right, so let's look for price. to get down to that level before considering going long. Price is now at the $200 level, which is a round hole psychological level that may serve as support. Um, typically, after earnings, you have the three-day rule. Just wait three days for price to give you an idea what direction it's going to go, whether if it's going to fill the gap or continue to um, trend down. But this is a level where you can consider going long um, if price trickles back down, look for reversal patterns on a smaller time frame to go long to potentially fill that gap at 240 over the subsequent months. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.